All right, when you hear the word school, oftentimes you're thinking of things like homework, the teacher lecturing at you, a bunch of books, I know it probably sounds boring. But what I've come to realize over all these years is a lot of us, many of us, you and I, have this beautiful innate knowledge and wisdom deep down inside of us. And sometimes we need these little reminders to help us remember who we truly are. I wanna to introduce to you a concept that I am gonna call mystery school. And this is going to be a really cool series that's going to help you and I discover who we truly are. So if you're curious and want to learn more about your intuition, magical senses and stuff like that, stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? It's Eric, your BFF to freedom and abundance. And I want to introduce you to a concept that I call mystery school. Over the years, I've gone to school for many things, right? Between junior high and high school, I've been to college for finance and accounting and all these things. And I've realized that these schools have taught me things that were important for my day-to-day -day life, but I've never really learned about things about my intuition or my feelings or my senses. And what I've come to realize as being an entrepreneur for all of these years is things like your intuition, your emotions, and your senses and things that you may not even really perceive at the moment, like clairsentience or clairvoyance, are all important parts of helping each of us find our true freedom and abundance. And that's what this is all about. It's not just abundance of material stuff or abundance of money, it's also abundance of life in general. So what I wanna talk about is three core topics in this concept that I call mystery school. So the first topic that we're gonna talk about in this series is mindfulness. And mindfulness is a word that's got a lot of buzz and people talk about it all the time. But really what is it and what tools can we utilize to help improve our mindfulness? Mindfulness is things like presence and affirmations and, and helping us reframe stories in our mind to allow us to achieve what we want to achieve without the limiting beliefs that prevent us or hold us back from achieving what we want to achieve. And this isn't just a woo-woo, pie in the sky, like non-scientific type of thing. Like I am very scientific, very logic based, but at the same time, very in touch with who I am as a person. So mindfulness is a wonderful practice that I've utilized on my own to help me achieve what I've been achieving thus far. In it, we're gonna talk about the power of the mind and how the power of the mind relates to our sense of abundance and freedom and how we can really turn around how we think and how we process to truly manifest what we're truly chasing after. And manifestation, in my opinion, isn't just this thing of I'm gonna imagine it's gonna magically happen. Manifestation is a combination of things. Manifestation is having a clear vision, a clear path to execution, and then actually executing upon that vision. So manifestation actually takes work. It's not what many other influencers or gurus might say where you just put it in your head and it magically appears. No, no, no. Manifestation is a combination of processes and it begins with mindfulness. The second main topic that we're gonna talk about in Mystery School are the tools that we can use to help us remember. The reality is many of us, depending on your religious belief, have been on this planet multiple times, right? Whether if you're Christians and you've, been, you've gone to heaven, come back down to the planet, done many things, or reincarnated or whatever, we've been on this planet, we've been living life over and over again. So we have this innate wisdom and talent and skills in us. And sometimes because of the day-to-day -day world, we just kind of lose track of that. So I'm gonna share a couple of different tools that I've utilized in the past and that I've helped guide folks through to help them remember. Things like breath work, like meditation, like plant medicine. These are things that you may have heard of that folks have utilized to allow them to remember. Now, there are different modalities out there like breath work or plant medicine that folks have used to do other things. Maybe get high or just have a really cool experience and that's totally cool and all, but I am a very intentional person and I utilize tools with great intention. Breath work, for example, is something that I've utilized for the last year and it's been magical. Now, breath work is a modality or a tool that can be used to give you more energy, to make you feel more alive, to make you feel more awake. It can also help you feel more calm. There's a book by James Nestor that's all about the breath 
and the power of the breath. It can do so many things. Breath work can also help you get in touch with your higher self or even help you process unprocessed emotions inside of your body. There's a book that I've been reading that's called your body holds all the clues, or I forget the exact name of it, but it basically is your body holds all the answers, all the emotions and everything are held within your body and utilizing tools like breathwork are fantastic. So I'm gonna share in this mystery school a couple of different breathwork practices that I use, whether it's breathing through the belly or breathing through the nose to help you get regrounded again and calm down and to, to be mindful of the moment or be more present. Beautiful tools like that. I'm also gonna share a couple of different meditation practices that I've done in the past and also share some experiences that I've utilized and helped guide other folks through with plant medicine. Now it's not legal in every state so I just want to give it to you in terms of an informational perspective so you can understand the potential of what is out there. Now the last thing that we're going to talk about in mystery school are the gifts that we innately have within us. Many of us might say you know I feel it in my gut. Is it does it pass my gut check? That is your intuition. Now my friend, you and I have this beautiful strength of intuition inside of us, and sometimes our brain prevents us from hearing what our intuition has to say. And on top of our intuition, many of us also have gifts like clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, you know, clear audience, which is clear hearing, clear knowledge, which is like knowing of things, right? Like there's many different like tools that folks think are like psychic kind of things. And I'm using air quotes, right? Because a lot of the woo woo new age folks, like they put it into this different frame of mind, which folks that are very logic based, science based like me kind of look at it and be like, nah, that's kind of crazy fam. I don't know if I agree with you on that one, but there is scientific basis behind a lot of this. Some of us have more sensitive hearing to others. Some of us might hear frequencies that others might not be able to hear, right? Some of us might be able to see things that others might not be able to see. And it's important that we understand that we can trust our gifts and understand we can trust our intuition in the guidance that it's providing to us. So in Mystery School is gonna be a weekly series where we share these different tips and tricks we're gonna talk about mindfulness, we're gonna talk about all the different kinds of tools, and then we're gonna talk about your gifts. Because at the end of the day, what my role is to be is like Professor Xavier from the X-Men. I'm just here to just guide you through the process like a chaperone or like the professor, just trying to help you guide you through the process. I am not your guru, I am not your healer. I wanna make sure that I'm clear on that, like this is not an egotistical thing. I am here to just help you remember who you truly are, and that's what my role is. Because the more folks that I can help them remember who they truly are, and what their true power is, the more abundant the world can be, and the more abundant and free that you can be as well. So I would love for you to stay tuned with us on a weekly basis, stay tuned for Mystery School, and if you love what we're talking about, if you love getting better in touch with yourself, if you love understanding the mindset behind success, the mindset behind abundance, if you wanna know about the tools and the tricks that I've used to help me get to where I am today, or also the gifts that all of us innately have within us, I really, really would love to have you come and join us on this journey. If you're brand new here to the channel, I talk about all kinds of things that relate to freedom and abundance, not just the spiritual side of things, but also finance, Bitcoin, tax, entrepreneurship. Make sure to click the like if you love this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed before and put a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. With that said, I'll see you again soon. Take care, peace.